During the past year, ART has enhanced its ability to simulate electric vertical takeoff and landing eVTOL vehicles for engineering design and analysis purposes. The comprehensive analysis tools developed and supported by ART are RCAS and Flight Lab. These tools are capable of modeling virtually any eVTOL configuration and analyzing them for various engineering disciplines, including performance, aeroelastic stability, flight dynamics, stability and control, loads, and vibrations. Additionally, both RCAS and Flight Lab are being used by multiple eVTOL developers to support the design and analysis of their configurations. The model shown here is modeled in RCAS and is a lift plus cruise configuration with propeller tilt that is representative of some of the configurations being developed. The model was constructed based on images available online of configurations that are in development. As such, all of the structural and aerodynamic properties were generated by ART and are not specific to any particular proposed vehicle. As you can see, these comprehensive tools are capable of modeling the complete vehicle structure, including the fuselage, wings, pylons, landing gear, and rotor systems in a fully coupled aeroelastic environment. The control system can also be modeled directly within RCAS or Flight Lab, or can be developed within a separate program such as Simulink and coupled to the RCAS or Flight Lab model. ART has made several enhancements to support engineering design and analysis of eVTOL configurations, including adding support for many distributed rotors, load paths, and rotor speed control or rotor torque control with motor dynamics. For this vehicle, each rotor and propeller is driven by a dynamic motor model. A motor control feedback loop is used to control the speed of each rotor by commanding motor torque to balance the total of aerodynamic and inertial torques. This clip shows the RCAS animation of a simulated landing and takeoff maneuver. The rotor and wing models use the blade element approach with table lookup for air loads. The rotor induced velocity is modeled using the finite state dynamic inflow, while the wing uses a multi trailer vortex wake model. Here, we have just activated the animation of rotor and wing normal air load distributions in order to better illustrate their load distributions throughout the maneuver. This model also includes an elastic wing structure using nonlinear beam elements, which are modeled as somewhat soft for this demonstration. As the aircraft lands, the wing droop can be seen. The rotors, pylons, and fuselage are rigidly modeled, but given elastic properties, could be easily converted to elastic. Additionally, three nonlinear landing gear are modeled and their reaction on touchdown can be seen. Each landing gear consists of a strut, tire, and ground contact model with brake system. The forces on both the strut and the tire are a nonlinear function of their deformation and deformation rate. The ground contact includes static and dynamic friction. The landing gear may slip and or roll depending on the ground contact condition. Several options are available for mutual interference effects between each rotor, wing, and the fuselage. The highest fidelity wake and air loads option is to couple with an external CFD solution. The viscous vortex particle method, or VVPM wake, can also be used for faster solutions that can accurately predict mutual interference effects. The VVPM wake model tracks the motion of discrete particles of wake vorticity around the full vehicle. In this model, both the fuselage and pylon air loads are modeled as table lookup body air loads as a function of angle of attack and side slip angle. In this next animation, this aircraft is flying in trim level flight. Each of the front rotors is tilted forward to provide propulsive force, while the aft rotors are stopped in line with the pylons to reduce drag. The front rotors also include pitch control for thrust at high forward speed. As can be seen from these clips, RCAS has many capabilities for modeling full eVTOL configurations. However, simply having many modeling capabilities is not sufficient for design applications. The user must also be able to quantify the accuracy of each capability. RCAS and Flight Lab have been in active development for over 25 years and have been applied to many different rotorcraft configurations. As a result, there is extensive research available that validates the fidelity of their capabilities. This validation is a key distinguishing attribute of RCAS and Flight Lab, as it takes years of dedicated effort to fully validate the various technologies that contribute to an aeroelastic full vehicle model. 
Thank you for your time, and we at ART hope you found this video informative. For questions regarding the capabilities of ART, RCAS, or Flight Lab, please check out the website www.flightlab.com or reach out to ART directly.